Hello, trendsetters. Welcome from wherever you are in the world. And I do have to say, I'm sorry um, I've left you a few extra days this week, family, but I did do a collaboration with Linda G. So if you have missed it, do go to her channel and check it out. Um, she also wants to come on this channel, which would be fabulous if I knew how to do that. So I'm going to have to have a tech lesson between now and then on how to live stream. So I will be starting doing that just for you guys. I will do my utmost to work out what buttons to press. So that's coming up down the track. Now, I want to concentrate on just a couple of things today because I'm going to make a video very shortly in the next day or so because already it's July hovering. Okay, so this is a quick one today to catch up on some of the epic things that have been happening. Okay, um, now I wouldn't describe Jim Jordan as epic. I think he's the opposite of epic, isn't he, in every way, not to mention having the brain of a houseplant. But I want to have a quick look at Jim Jordan and then on Giuliani's testimony to Jack Smith. Oh, let's have a look first. Jim Jordan, because now, apart from his ridiculous behaviour in the Judiciary Committee, another video or audio has come out about the young men who claimed they were sexually abused when they were part of the wrestling team back in the day and accuse him again and still of covering that up. Now, let's have a look. Will anything come out of this will impact Jim, I'm a jock, Jordan? Okay. 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 If they ever made a rerun of Animal House, they could really just cast this lot of GOP people. You know, it's total Animal House. Okay. Focus, Lena. Jim Jordan. Let's see what's happening there. Oh, that's strange. I don't know what's happening with my cards. Very rare to get a reversal. But here we have, this is referring back to when these men were much younger. And it did impact their lives because here is the death card. I think it goes... Um, with the territory, I think it's safe to say how hard it is for men to talk about sexual abuse as children. This came out with the revelations about the Catholic Church. And the women came forward 30 years before the men in a lot of cases. It, it's really difficult for so for at least a few of these guys to still be talking about it is a problem for Jim Jordan. As I said, he gets the death card. Now, this is moving away to a safer place, but it was reversed. So not moving to a safer place at all. And the Grim Reaper is merciless. Death comes to everybody, right? The Grim Reaper on his case. At the moment, things are confusing. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm Jim Jordan. You know, like, so I'll just do a clarifier on the confusion. Let's have a quick look there. Jim Jordan. He's got the death card, but what else is coming out here? Will it impact Oh, the tower fell out. I don't think I'll persevere anymore. 
I don't think he's going to come undone because of being an irresponsible idiot, um, just wasting tax taxpayers' money, millions of dollars a minute, to look into this rubbish. No, it might be this stuff that brings him down. And if you watch any of the astrologers, stuff is happening. And Hogarth did a brilliant piece on Saturn and accountability. If you missed that video, it's worth going back and checking it out. And this smacks of someone knocking him off his pedestal. Ah, now we shouldn't celebrate other people's misfortune. However, someone's got to. Okay, so trying to distance ourselves from him, we move to another sort of dreadful, Giuliani. Now, I never quite bought the America's Mayor stuff, partly because the rest of the world didn't react to 9-11 the same way, obviously, as America did. And... So anyway, he managed to fill that role under very dubious circumstances. I think the cleaning up of New York came at a price. Let's just say that, but I'll leave it there. What I want to talk about right now, it was described by, um, I think, a lawyer on Ari Melba or one of those sort of shows, that this is the big kill Giuliani went for a voluntary interview. And let's see. Giuliani's testimony. Is he going to try and protect everyone else? Or is he going to protect himself? Now, what's interesting about this interview, I'm not quite sure because I came in halfway through the program. Maybe it's still to happen. But in any event, I don't know what he said. Do you? Does anyone have any dirt? What was Giuliani likely to reveal? Has he revealed it? Is he about to reveal it? So I'm sorry I've had such a busy week. I'm normally a bit more onto it. But what this was talking about was if he says what he needs to say to save himself, i.e. I was one of the people in the room, I wasn't the mastermind, no one wants to be the mastermind now, do they? He holds the key to bringing down not only the Yeti, a.k.a. Duck Laronge, thank you, Hoga but also Flynn and also Bannon. You can see why I've got the beret on. I'm in that sort of mood. And Eastman. So he could bring the whole mouldy pack of cards down. This is the stuff about the war room, remember? So I really want to have a look at Giuliani. Giuliani's testimony. And Jack Smith extract from Giuliani what went on in the war room. Okay. Mm. Huh. Well, if anyone can, it's Jack Smith. Oh. Julian, I don't think he's feeling too fabulous at the moment and he knows he's cornered. I mean, he's old enough he can hide behind the dementia card or perhaps go into upmarket rehab for alcoholism or something. But he is definitely having an eight of swords moment. He's quite confused, and I suspect genuinely you can't drink the legendary amounts 
that this man has consumed for decades and have a pristine brain. I think this confusion is almost genuine. I say almost because there's always room for these slime balls to sort of, you know, slide out of it. But I think he's genuinely confused. Absolutely. Dun, dun, dun. Along comes Jack Smith in the form of the star. Let us hope, let us pray he can do more than Muller did because remember Muller did all the hard work. He did. He and his team of 200 people did all that hard work. But at the end of the day, he couldn't put two clear sentences out there to sum it up. And America was left with Bill Barr, who's now reinvented himself as, you know, numero uno patriot extraordinaire. Remember, and Bill Barr waffled on and Muller just said something like, it was a double negative, like we didn't find he didn't do anything or something. It was just appalling at the end of all that work. But Jack Smith's got the card, uh, the card here of hope and inspiration. But we all need more. I'm speaking as a world citizen here. <laughs> we all need more, Jack. And look, we've got enormous faith and confidence in you but we need more than hope and inspiration. I think he is, he, Jack Smith, is digesting new information as more people higher up the food chain go and they're chowing down on each other now, isn't it, Bliss? I think he's taking a mini moment to reflect how to best play this. So I think he has absolutely plan A, B, C, D and any more that he needs. But I think as we speak, there's a bit of a moment here. Celebration. I think there is success coming forward with the Giuliani testimony. And in other readings on other days, we'll get into the fine print of that, how that would impact. Why is General Flynn walking around and shoplifters are in jail and General Flynn can get away with all this crap for all these years. Gobsmackingly bad. Now, I have to have a look at the Russian developments, okay, because we've got Prigozhin versus Putin now. It's a very interesting standoff. I'm sure you're all aware of what went on with the Wagner group threatening to march on Moscow and then being diverted to Belarus. Um, I think it'll be a race against the tide, won't it? Who gets who first? But I thought what I would do is do a mini spread on Putin and a mini spread on Prigozhin. Let's have a look. And for this, I've brought along not only my Russian cards, I do love these, the 12 chair tarot, quite hard to get hold of. But I'm going to change hats literally for this. So let us see now. I'm getting ready to do this read on Russia. Okay. Now, Whoosh. What it has shown, if nothing else, is Putin isn't invincible. Not only that, but effectively it has opened the way now. It's, it's caused a crack in the system. It's a crack in the wall. And that's how the Berlin Wall came down. It was impossible to get over the wall until one night it wasn't. You know, people risked their lives, a few escaped, no one could take on the power of the Stasi, and then it was all over. So I'll do more in depth on Putin, but for now I want to see these two men head to head. Head to head. 
curtain and Prigozhin. Putin and Prigozhin. What will the war, the Russian cards tell us? What's going on? Putin on the left, Prigozhin on the right. Oh, very interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I think it's also not unreasonable to say both these men are at risk from each other. <laughs> it's like that. Okay, let's start with Putin here. They both start actually with good cards to start. So with this, this is Putin eating well while other people are suffering under the sanctions. Um, this could also literally represent his food taster. But this was the life before he was actually challenged. Now look at this. Talk about isolated or what. Also, he gets two tens, end of a cycle, end of a cycle. This is how he's feeling. Okay. What's his challenge now? Well, it's a chess game, isn't it? It's absolutely a chess game. And this is, oddly enough, the star card. Now, the 12 chairs tarot is about finding the money and the jewels inside the chair. He is looking for resources desperately. He's looking for allies desperately within Russia, I'm talking. Um, and he can't trust anybody. It's a paranoia extremist. He always was. But you can imagine, I don't think he's sleeping much. Put it that way. Now, Prigozhin gets, first of all, the Nine of Cups, which is this is a guy who worked his way up. Um, his father and grandfather have worked for the, par the top party officials and stuff, but I don't think he grew up that rich. He's made money by taking an army of brutes and misfits around the world to kill, maim, kidnap and mutilate with impunity because there are no rules in the games the mercenaries play. So this is him. He may have a weakness. He may have a weakness, and that weakness may be vodka. That weakness may be pretty young things, boys or girls, I've got no idea. Or it could be vodka and pretty young things or greed and all of those, but he has a major weakness. He still presents as a strong man. Literally, this is the mercenary card, literally. Uh, and he's popular with his men. Don't forget a lot of the motivation, the emotional motivation behind this was he felt slighted by the Russian defence, not supplying um, good quality backup, not supplying adequate weapons, not being able to feed his men properly, and then not paying them. Now, mercenaries are motivated by money. And if you don't pay them, it's not the smartest thing that Putin could do if he's looking for a smart option is to not pay 25,000 guys, right? Then they go and say, well, really? And they did what they did. This card is interesting to me. It looks soft and furry like little kids playing except it's a world stage. 
one. The second thing is I think young Russians or younger Russians, put it that way, are used to seeing Wagner in a more positive light than perhaps even their own military. They're seen as the guys who get things done. You know, no one wants to finish the sentence. What are they actually doing in your name? But they have popularity on the ground symbolically. So that's a thing. Now, in other news, um, a quick correction here. I said last video that DeSantis was banning the private sale of vehicles. I'd misread the article. It's not that you can't sell your car to someone you know or, or something privately. What he's done is you won't be able to buy directly from the manufacturer. You will have to go through a car dealership. And if you did a straw poll on some of the people who are least liked in most countries, I think you find car dealerships is pretty high. I'm sorry for anyone out there who represents that body. So on that note, I am going to go, go a dodo and I'll be back. It could be as soon as tomorrow. If not, it'll certainly be the next day because I'm making up for lost time. Miss you guys. Stay cool. Love you all. Bye for now. Ciao.